Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here today to bring a review for Fire Force Mango Etc. 126. This chapter is fairly easy to break down. Joker's backstory, and it goes as so: Joker was abandoned by his parents. He was taken in by the church, where he probably spent many years. No exact time frame was given, but while he was there, we can assume safely assume he went. He undergoes some training. Became very strong, probably one of the strongest members there presently. He was known as 52. So he was strong, but he there was somebody who was stronger, and this person bullied him every chance he got, basically. And I think it was due to this bully and this mistreatment that Joker didn't want to stay there no more. So on the day, I think it's the day that they went off the show, he was present, he was part of the mission, whatever and he then decided to run away. So therefore the church decided not to bring him back in but make it so that his life was a living hell ever since then. Because uh, Joker did try to do the whole family thing, join another family thing. It probably was nice at first but eventually you know, the church people, they found, found the family and killed them. Like I was saying though, they didn't decide to bring back, bring him back in, so they probably just wanted to make his life a living hell from then, so therefore maybe his worth to the church group isn't that present, I mean, isn't that important, but Joe Carr, he caught on fairly early after the death of the one family that, you know, you know what, he needs to be not having no ties with anyone because they're going to end up dead. So that's the thing we get from the flashback, and then we flash back forward, where a fight is about to break out, Joe converse these other members. That's it. Uh, free story and call it review. Like always, guys, must be for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.